Welcome to the Gaming Sermon, where every Friday I'll bring you a week's worth of gaming news in three minutes or less. Our headlines this week are Nintendo Wii has been discontinued in Japan and Europe, EA is working on a high-end mobile battlefield game, MLG and Relativity Media have joined in a partnership that encompasses sports management, television, film, and digital media, and NVIDIA unveiled a new graphics card. They also introduced G-Sync in a new way to stream using a handheld console called Shield. NVIDIA's G-Sync concept makes monitor refresh rates a thing of the past. The GPU drives the timing of the refresh, and the monitor is always in sync with the GPU, which means no more screen tearing. Secondly, the monitor and the GPU are always one at any given frame rate, so that means no more stutters. In addition to that, you get the same response time you would as if you were to turn off the V-Sync. In console news, Canadians, you can now purchase the PlayStation 4 controller at your local EV games. Headset adapters for the Xbox One, which allow you to use third-party headsets, will not come out until next year. Xbox 360 wheels used for racing games will not be compatible with the Xbox One. Sony and Microsoft confirmed that cross-game chat and party chat respectively will support eight players. And Sony detailed a large 1.50 update for the PS4 that will come out with the console. Nintendo briefly discussed two new game modes for the upcoming Super Mario 3D World. The first mode, The Adventures of Captain Toad, you cannot jump, you need to explore and collect stars. The second mode, Mystery House, you need to complete stages in a fixed amount of time and collect as many stars as you can. Blizzard announced this year's BlizzCon schedule, which takes place on November 8th and 9th in Anaheim. They're also seeking help from the community in creating legendary items for Diablo 3, and they also renamed Blizzard All-Stars to Heroes of the Storm. In game news, Drive Club is delayed until 2014. Magic the Gathering Tactics will have its game services discontinued on March 28th. Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army 2 comes out on Halloween. Slender the Rival comes to Steam on October 28th and features extended levels and a new character. Spellforce 2 Demons of the Past is delayed until January 16th. WWE 2K14 DLCs will come out October through January. NASCAR 14 has an early 2014 expected release date. Crusader Kings 2 Sons of Abraham was announced and comes out on November 18th. The Sims 4 was announced and has an autumn 2014 expected release date. Titanfall was announced and will be released on March 11th and 13th. Assassin's Creed Liberation HD is coming to the PS3 on January 14th. And Burial at Sea Episode 1, a story DLC for Bioshock Infinite, comes out on November 12th. Some of next week's releases include Battlefield 4, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, WWE 2K14, and Angry Birds Star Wars. In other news, Capcom video game producer said the company does not have enough resources for a next-gen fighter, however they are looking for a game designer and programmer for a new game. Rockstar launched a GTA Online status website, as well as cut the payout for missions online by 50%, and Star Wars The Old Republic's upcoming expansion Galactic Starfighter is strictly PvP oriented. Thanks for watching, and feel free to discuss with me or yourselves using the comments or Twitter. You can find a link to all the stories I discussed in the description box. My name is Mike, and I'll see you all next Friday.